Hey guys, we're going to be checking out some benchmarks between the iPad mini Retina and the Nexus 7 2013. Now these are just benchmarks, so I'll be making another video to test out the real world performance. But yeah, here we go. And we'll start off here with Geekbench. Now you can see from the Nexus 7 that it seems to think I have a Tegra 3. That's not the case. It's actually a Qualcomm Snapdragon. I can promise you this is a Nexus 7 2013. The iPad mini has the A7 processor. That's a dual core CPU clocked at 1.3 gigahertz. The Nexus 7 2013 has a Snapdragon S4 Pro, which is a quad core CPU clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. So let's see how they do. Results are in, you can see here that the iPad mini Retina wins in both single core and multi core performance even though it has two less cores than the Nexus 7 2013, so that's pretty impressive from the iPad mini. Now Geekbench is predominantly a CPU benchmark so let's move on to the GPU and check out what happens there. So first up we're going to run 3D Mark and we are going to run the unlimited test so stuff like VSync and screen resolution isn't going to come into play here. By doing this we can compare them without having to worry about different screen resolutions and all that sort of stuff so yeah here we go. And you can see from the results again a pretty convincing win from the iPad mini retina especially in the graphics test 1 and 2 you can see there's a massive difference between graphics test 1 and 2 on the iPad mini and the Nexus 7 2013. What I found interesting as well is the Nexus 7 scores higher in the physics test than the iPad mini and that could be down to the Nexus 7 having the additional cores. And the last benchmark we're going to run here is GL benchmark again this is a GPU test so let's see what happens it has both on screen and off screen tests so we can see how much of a difference the resolution makes we know the iPad mini has a higher resolution display it's 2048 by 1536 versus the Nexus 7's 1920 by 1200 so we'll see what happens here. Okay, so again we can see the iPad mini is winning, although not by as big a margin. Geo Benchmark off-screen renders at 1080p, which makes sense considering the Nexus 7 off-screen tests are pretty similar to the on-screen tests, and we all know the Nexus 7 pretty much has a 1080p display. Now if we look at the iPad mini, you can see that the on-screen tests definitely take quite a big hit over the off-screen tests, and that's because the iPad mini retina has a higher than 1080p display, so it has to render more on screen so that's definitely going to impact the frames per second from looking at the off-screen test you can see that the ipad mini retina does have the stronger gpu but because of the resolution being higher than the nexus 7 the difference on screen isn't quite as large although it is still there so even though the ipad mini has a higher resolution display you can see the frames per second on screen is still higher on the ipad mini just showing you how strong the gpu really is so yeah, there you go guys. Now as always, these are just benchmarks, these are numbers. We'll have to see how they actually do in real world performance. I'll be making that video pretty soon. Let me know what you guys think. Peace out.